what we are ready for another class. Well, guys, hello, good evening. Let's see who do I have here. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Liana, how are you? 
I'm I'm fine. And you? Well, you know, here, same old story as usual. Well, tell me, how was the weekend for you? Well, it uh, was a very slow weekend. Uh, and Saturday's morning, I took on, one on, on Saturday, Saturday. On Saturday. Okay, thank you. On Saturday morning, I took my mom to the doctor. Oh, really? And thanks God, everything everything is okay with her. So, yeah, that was nice. Then we went to the beauty salon and make the, the manicura. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, after that, uh, we, have, we had lunch uh, with all my family. And... Um, then in the afternoon, I organized my room because I, I have some, some stuff that I don't need anymore. So I organized all, all that. And at night, I went to with my best friend to dinner. To have dinner? To have dinner, yes. And okay, when did you go to have dinner? Tell me, if you don't mind. Sorry? Where do you go to have dinner? Tell me, if you don't mind me asking. I don't hear it well. Where did you go to have dinner? Okay, uh, we went to Delicat. Okay, what did you have for dinner? Uh, a pizza calzone. I don't, I okay. don't know. Yeah, 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 that's the name, and, that's a good name. Yeah, and some sangria. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. Fresh. Well, yeah, really fresh. That was the idea. We we wanted to think uh, in another things that 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 yeah, yeah, relate yeah. to the work and and all that. We wanted to take our minds our mind. out of the regular okay. job. Okay, oh, yes. that's yes. cool. That's cool. That's cool. I mean. Yeah. It's excellent when you get the, the chance to share with your friends and, and you know, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go, perfect. Uh, and you know, just to blow up some steam is always good. Yes. And yesterday I stayed home all day. All day yeah. at home on a Sunday? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's no good. Come on. You are young. Sundays are for going to the beach, go shopping, stuff like that. Mm, but, but yesterday, no. I just stayed home. Oh, that's good. I mean, as you said, once in a while, it's good to relax, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> cool. That's cool. Let's see. Me, oh, terrible. Long weekend. But in my case, that's normal. In my case, that's normal. Yeah. What did you do? In my case, let's see. Uh, Saturday, work. Then work. And after that, I went to, I went shopping with my son because he needed a uh, new boxing gloves. He's got a he's got a fight next Saturday. So I had to buy him stuff for the fight. Then yesterday morning I went to visit a friend of mine uh, all the way to uh, San Marcos Lempa. Oh and that's far. Is that is in Chalatenango? No, that's in Usulután. Oh, oh the other side. Yeah, exactly by the by the bridge. Ah, okay. And so I went all the way there and I came back around 8 p.m. Oh, kind of late. Yeah, and I went. I was doing some stuff, so I went to bed around twelve thirty. 
not 31. So that's... I mean, it was a nice my week weekend. My weekends are like that. Yeah, always busy, actually. And the only bad thing is this weather that is really killing me, you know? It's too hot. Yes. But, it, but it's, a, it's yeah. crazy, the weather that we have right now. But because uh, um, it's hot and then it's raining and then it's hot again. Yeah, you know, uh, fresh in the afternoon where I work, like around... I mean, early in the afternoon, like around 3, 4 p.m., it gets fresh. Okay. It's It gets pretty fresh because, I mean, uh, I go to, I I mean, around 3, 30, 4 p.m., it's very fresh over there, but then I come back home and it's hot. Right now it's hot, terribly hot. Yeah. But what can we do? It's the weather. Yeah, we can control it. <laughs> yeah. Well, Eliana, nice having you here. Well, you, you know, you just got me curious. What's that? It's a diadem? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> it's just because I just want, I just, I was just able to see just the outline. Yeah, it's the the effect, effect of the camera, I yeah. think, but yeah, it's a di yeah. diadem. diadem. Diadem, okay, thank you, diadem. Welcome, Eliana, nice having you here. Thank you. Heidi, hello, Heidi, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, I'm a how little are bit you? tired, even though it's Wednesday, oh, really? Monday. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, yeah. So I look as you feel. I always look tired. I'm always like <laughs> So tell me, how's everything? How was the weekend? What did you do? The weekend was nice. I'm going to use the same words you said. Same as usual. Same as usual. <laughs> no going yeah. out? No, I didn't go out. Oh, come on, guys. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Summer's coming, maybe. Maybe in a I'm few sorry? days. Maybe next weekend, maybe. Where are you going to go, perhaps? Me to the beach. That's cool. Which one is your favorite? La Costa del Sol is oh, my favorite. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Well, actually, from your company, they got a, they got a, 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 a little ranch over there, right? Right. Very nice yeah, one. yeah. You know, I went there. Let me tell you which year. It was nineteen ninety five, nineteen ninety five or nineteen ninety six. Yeah, I was young at that time. Twenty seven years ago. Don't remind me that, please. <laughs> it's please, that, that I started working for the bank in nineteen ninety five. That just part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I was, let me see, I was in, what? I was 15 years old. I was in second high. 15? Yeah, I was in second high in this year. It was mm. fun. Yeah, it was a long, long while ago. Mm. Still in my so, place. Yeah, it is. It is, it is. Actually, I love, you know, it's funny. I enjoy it. I love going to the beach. <laughs> I mean, for me, my favorite trip going out is going to the beach. But I don't, I almost never go. I mean, go, I go like what? Once or twice a year. Because mm -hmm. my family, they are more like into sightseeing, you know, going up to the mountains. Mm -hmm. If I get together with my sister, it's camping. Hmm, that's nice. Well, but uh, I I don't go to the punch ranch. I don't usually go there because they get, you can find they get crowded, friend and right? you finish the same way talking about, about things at work. <laughs> that happens with everybody, you know? Believe me, whenever 
whenever you get, like in my case, whenever you get like three, four teachers together, they end up talking about kids, students, you know, always the same. That's normal. That's why you should never go out with uh, with co-workers. I mean, you end up talking about the same routine every day. Uh, it's like, why do we go out in the end, you know? Right. Yeah, but let's hope you have a good time. Do you like I, swimming? I love swimming. That's nice. Do you like swimming in the ocean? Mm -mm. Oh, then you're like me. Mm -hmm. You're like, I like me. Pools, I don't but like. Not mm -hmm. You know, I love. Well, I I've, I've gone fishing in the ocean. I love it. I love fishing. It's kind of nice, relaxing. I have gone fishing during the day, at night in the ocean. Man, that thing is scary. Oh, really? Oh no. Yeah, the, <laughs> the first time is scary, but it's cool. It's cool. But swimming in the ocean, uh, uh, that's a big no-no for me. For me too. I have a uh, big respect for the ocean. No, no, I'm scared of it. <laughs> In my case, it ain't got nothing to do with respect. I'm just plainly scared of it. I mean, it's it's heavy. And that's the funny thing, you know, when I was a kid, uh, I mean, almost since I was like 12, 13, until I was like 20, 21, every single holiday, I used to, I used to go to the to the to the beach with my family or on my own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't go but, that often. Yeah, in my case, I used to go. My my cousins they they used to surf. You know that's funny. I was with my cousins. They were surfing mm -hmm. all the time, and I never never learned how to surf. Something must have happened to you, and you don't remember, maybe. Uh, I'm just scared of that thing. Uh -huh. Do you remember if something happened? Not really. Not really? Not really. No, but, you know, it's just that I was a scary little boy. That's the <laughs> thing. Okay. I have, actually, I have swum in the ocean just once once in my life but it was from the uh, it was funny with some friends we jump and we went to the ocean then we get to the shore and i was like never again <laughs> that's it for me well hey nice having you here welcome good teacher okay guys by the way uh today speaking class okay Today, we are going to forget a little bit about writing, and tonight is going to be speaking class. But how are we going to develop it? Very simple. I will be throwing you topics for you to discuss. I will, give, I will be giving you situations for you to role play, improvise conversations here in the class. And perhaps some of you, I will give you a, a topic for you to prepare a conversation for the class, but mostly we are going to be doing improv. I mean, like normal, regular conversations, okay? I'll give you a question to one of you, you're going to ask to your partner and then follow up questions. It's gonna be fun, believe me, it's gonna be fun. The idea is for you to practice and to get a, a, a used to thinking English faster. I know right at this level, all of you think in English. You are thinking in English. Some of you perhaps a little bit faster than others, but all of you are thinking in English. What I want you to do is to improve on that, to get faster, okay? To rely on all the vocabulary you have and to, for you to realize that you can rely on that vocabulary in order to communicate with, the, with each other. I mean, that's the idea in the end for these classes, for you to be able to communicate. Not just in uh, in in technical English, which is English for work, but also in everyday English. Because when you are working, I mean, you don't just talk with people about uh, things related to the job. I mean, you get there early in the morning and you start like, "Hey, good morning. How are you? How was the weekend? What did you do?" I mean, you get lunch with your coworkers. 
you talk about something else. And that's the idea. That's what I want you to do, to get more, uh, to get faster in thinking in English and to be more fluent. Well, let's see who else is around. Well, sorry, guys, let me get the attendance so we can get rid of that step and concentrate on the regular activities. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Ambarelli Alfaro Gómez. Present. Thank you. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Neftalín Mendez Torres. I'm here, teacher. Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. I'm here. Thank you. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Thank you. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. Thank you. Maria Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Rebecca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Thank you. Roxana Ibedasencio de Mejía. Present. Thank you. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Thank you, Susana. Billman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Thank you, Ramon Enrique Mata Escobar. Thank you, Ramon. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Send me a present. Let's see. Last one here, Chip. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Okay, guys. Wow, almost full house. That's cool. So let's see. Ana Claudia, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. Thank you for asking. And tell me, how was the weekend? What did you do? Where did you go? Uh, well, um, the weekend, uh, we are still, well, I'm still cleaning the house because of the construction. They were right? changing the ceiling, right? The ceiling, exactly. And uh, we, uh, uh, the, 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 the man who is working here, uh, they are painting different things. So uh, sa Saturday and Sunday, uh, for me, there were cleaning days, washing days. <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. We are almost done. I just, I guess it's just uh, missing two days. Today they couldn't come to work because there was I don't know why, uh, but there at the in the morning there was an, there was uh, any bus uh, service. Uh, oh really? There yes, was a strike. Go, uh, strike. A strike is un paro. Yeah, a strike. Una vuelta, no? Uh huh. Exactly. Yeah, that and was it was tight. so weird because oh, since a long time ago, there wasn't any here in my area or in my town. Today, everybody was walking. So that is the reason why the the the, the constructor man couldn't finish today. But that's why. That's why. That's why. Okay. That's why. Oh, really? Well, at least you got a day off uh, from the noise, you know. Because when they are like cleaning, when they are working in construction, there's a lot of exactly. noise. There's exactly. a lot of dust. dust. And, uh -huh. and I mean, one way or another, uh, in the end, you end up like paying attention or getting distracted by, by exactly. what they do. Exactly, exactly. Because uh, at the end, you are like supervising that the things are done as you want it. Mm -hmm. Painting or yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, scrolling that's where what, they need to scroll. That's why I will never work for you. I don't like people 
Hey, that was good. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I am planning on changing the ceiling in my house. Wow. But mm, the thing I'm pretty is sure when I, you will do it. You want to do it. No, yeah, I, I will do it on my own. Uh-huh. On your own. I'll do it on my own. But the thing is that I'm I wanna learn to work it with a new product. Ah, okay. Okay. So you are you are going to replace the ceiling. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to replace, but I want I want to start in one room, changing it from one room and checking out. I mean, the results. How, yeah, the results because I wanna uh, uh, I wanna you know learn something new. Try yes, try something new. Understand well. I hope you enjoyed your adventure <laughs> with a new product. Yeah, but that's the thing. I mean, like uh, the only time I will have left for that is vacation holidays and on holidays i need to paint a house but if you are a workaholic teacher i mean you don't yeah. have time never have time you work from monday to monday yeah no well you know it's been like one month that i haven't uh i haven't worked sundays oh but i remember you have classes right on sunday yeah no right now on sundays i got them free that's good. Hey, it's weird. Mm. Maybe you can um, take that time, take advantage of one Sunday. If it's just a room, I'm pretty sure you will be able to complete it. Well, to be honest with you, right now I got the, 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 the discussion here in my house because I mean, I got a call from a university. They want me to go back to work with them. <gasps> Impressive. In my house. Yeah, oh. but here in my house, they don't want me to. <laughs> it's because, because you don't rest, teacher. Usually that, that job is Saturdays mornings and or Saturday afternoon and Sunday morning. No, teacher, you need to rest. Your body is... Why? I'm going to rest enough as soon as I pass away, you know? I know, you will be resting in peace. <laughs> yeah, what else can you ask from? Resting, <laughs> peace... Nice words. That's cool. Hey, Ana Claudia, nice talking to you. Welcome. Thank you, Thank you, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see. Okay, guys. Uh, okay, who else do I have here? Maria Alejandra, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. I feel maybe la me estoy asando. <laughs> oh, believe me. I am roasting as you are. I got a <laughs> fan, a strong fan in front of me. And man, if if they allowed me here in my house, I mean, I would take this computer and this desk to my bedroom. I got the air conditioner there. Man, because this is hot. <laughs> yes, it's very hot, but it's very cold. Um, but don't, not anymore. don't have an yeah. option. <laughs> There's no option. I mean, it's hot. Like mm -hmm. last night, I, I woke up around, well, early in the morning, around 2 a.m., and I was sweating. Uh -huh. I smell the vacation, but the only reason when I don't like the vacation is a weather <laughs> for the Easter. Come on, Maria Alejandra. <laughs> right now, if you smell something, it's people sweating. <laughs> you... <laughs> Don't tell me you smell the vacation. Believe me, what you're smelling is some sweaty people out all around you. Um, no, teacher, in this moment, I don't smell any, anyone. And, and believe me, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Yes, I think. Okay, and how was the weekend for you? Anything good? Yes, everything good. The Saturday I don't have a lot of work. It's rare, but it's good. <laughs> oh, really? and yes, maybe the platform that day or murió. Uh -huh. uh, died. Died at 4 p.m. It's oh, really? compared to another day. Oh, that's nice. It was Janita's fault. 
<laughs> but uh, stay connect uh that finish my schedule at 6 p.m and then go to the san martin oh really uh -huh. and i like to order the two of three i don't know dot the three uh -huh. <laughs> yeah two out of, two out of three uh, two out of three, and then eight a uh, yao yao. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Uh huh. And Sunday only have a piñata. And... Okay, a piñata. Yes, a piñata. <laughs> because uh, the oh, best cool. friend for my sister. Uh, my sister's a... best friend. Uh, my my sister best friend have a kid. I have a one daughter. Has a and kid. Has. Has, a, has a kid. And the birthday party for two years. Oh, estaba cumpliendo. Oh, really? Uh -huh. She turned two? Oh, that's uh -huh. cool. Little kiddos. Yeah, uh -huh. but those parties are not good. They just got cake and candies. Come on. Um, only um. The reason that uh, why to went with my sister and my mother is to uh, make a gift, and because oh. uh -huh, the girl the the girl is very uh, pretty and I don't know I the sentiment es como emotivo nada más. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't but, like party, uh, that type of parties. <laughs> I like a different type of parties. <laughs> yes, but it's only for the presents to have to yeah. come. Uh -huh. So there was no dancing, no pool. No, only a stay seat. <laughs> but. Oh. I, hicimos presencia, I don't know. How yeah, to... yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Uh huh. You, can, you can say that you were there. Cool, that's uh -huh. fine. Yes. That's nice. That's and nice. Storm. And only that, I don't, I didn't uh, do anything. Anything special? You did a lot of stuff, I'm sure, but nothing special. Uh huh. Nothing special. Okay, like... well, thank you, Maria Alejandra. Welcome. You're welcome, teacher. Let's see. Where's uh, 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 man? I do have fun. Frank, hello, Frank. Please tell me you are in San Salvador, Frank. Hello, hello, teacher. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. You are sweating as I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm sweating I hate too. it. I hate it whenever you tell me, "Oh, I am here up in the mountains in Chalatenango, oh, working no. on a fresh weather, and I'm here like sweating like terrible." Not yet. Tomorrow I will be there. But okay, okay. No. Yeah, I'm. I'm How many days here. you gonna stay there? Yeah. Uh, I, I go there tomorrow and uh, till Friday. Okay, yeah, well, four days. so today is the only day that you're going to suffer here. Yeah, yeah, just today. <laughs> I but love one. it when it rains there. I love it when it rains there. Man, it gets foggy, cold, beautiful. There in, in, in the Portland. high parts. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, but you know what? Sometimes because I mean, the last week, uh, some days, um, drizzle. How to say? It, it was drizzling. It's a correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay, was drizzling and but the weather changed a little bit because it's turned turned a little bit. Hotter than, than usual, yeah. That's yeah, the problem yeah. when it's been hot during the day. Yeah, I think it's because the, I don't know how to say con condensation in English. Yeah, it's condensation. Yeah, I know what they mean. Yeah, 
I think it's it's for that reason. Yeah, but, that's why. I think that's why. Right. But it's all good. Oh, cool. So, how was the weekend? Uh, was good, teacher, uh, with the family, just chilling uh, with the family in Santa Ana. Uh, I was trying to sell my car during the weekend, but <laughs> I couldn't. Okay, what, which car you got? I have a Nissan Rogue. Oh, you got a truck. Yeah. Which I, year? I 2013. 2013 engine? Yeah. It's 2.4. 2.4, that's four cylinders, right? Yeah, four cylinders, yeah. Automatic? I, yeah, automatic. I sequential. Tried. No, it's just automatic, not sequential. Okay, it's the 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 this the steering box is uh it's a CBT or a CBT, ATM? yeah. It's a CBT. CBT. Yeah. Oh, okay. Transmission. That's the only problem. Said, That's yeah. why we are not making business right now, my friend. Yeah. That thing is get rid of it. Oops. I think I Oops. lost you, Frank. Yeah, I, I got I'm you. I'm here, I'm here. Sorry. Yeah, but a lot of people said the same that that kind of transmission. Is yeah, complex, right? Last, last year we changed uh, 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 the transmission of a uh, Corolla 2014 CVT. Okay. Well, no, we fixed it because we couldn't find it, so okay. we had to fix it. Cost us uh, nine hundred and seventy-five. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that was wow. the cost just of the of the. Of the fixing of the transmission but then they have yeah. to install it you need to put the the oil in the special oil because for cvt is a special oil man that yes, thing's yes, expensive it's, it's expensive it's very expensive i just Terrible. changed the the oil i just and it's more than a hundred bucks wow i mean yeah. it's terrible <laughs> so yeah, it that, that's why i i want change it because yeah. the price of, of gasoline is yeah you know I, I was telling let's see who i was telling i was telling Diana yesterday i went to i went to to to, to Bajo Lempa, yes yes and, yes yes and when i was coming back because when on my way there i went uh from here from San Martin i live in San Martin San Salvador from here i went to San Vicente from San Vicente uh, I took on the way to Zacatecoluca, and from there I took to Sultan. When okay. I was coming back, uh, there was a problem on the street, so they made me go all the way to San Salvador yeah. in order to get here. Okay. You won't believe how much I spent on gas. <laughs> wow, I don't know. Tell me. <laughs> 15 bucks. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, 15 bucks. Mm -hmm. Yes, that that was my expense on gas. The trip all around. But what what car is is sure? Ah, that's the thing. I got uh, I went yesterday I went on on a Yaris 1.3 ah, engine. Oh, okay. Now it's like a more and, type of, Yeah, right? and I was with the air conditioner all, all day. the time. Yeah. Okay. Man, that thing is hot. Yeah, but yeah, I, I mean you need you need a, a smaller engine that yeah, helps a uh, lot. I before that this car I was I I I has a, a Yaris too. Yeah, they they are pretty economic, man. Yeah, that, I mean I am some I'm a little bit arrepentido. Regretful. Yeah, I'm a little bit regretful to to sell it because I mean how from oh no I mean a little bit regretful from selling it from selling yeah so a little bit regretful yeah. from selling it because yeah, I mean they are they I'm sorry they're not as as comfortable as the van I mean as the truck you got I mean because the truck is pretty comfortable 
That's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's expensive. Yeah, it's very expensive. So yeah. I shown and showed to some uh, clients or customers. I don't know. Uh, Interstate person. person. Yeah, yeah inter or you can say interstellar person. Okay, I show I show and I showed them on Saturday, but we don't. They didn't. They didn't make up their mind. Yeah, we don't have done a deal, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Well, you know, you gotta be patient when you're selling. Yeah. You gotta be patient. The yeah. same as when you're buying. That's yeah, the, the, the key same. idea to be patient. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. So. I hope to, to sell it in those days. Yeah, you know, I'm happy. Uh, in my case, I'm happy. Like, in let's see, when was it? Last year, around November, I sold uh, I sold a, a little truck. I had a, a Rav for man, expensive. But a lot of for, expensive gas. Are a, a good ones. Rav for a good one. Yeah, right? but it was an old one, a 1997, heavy. Ah, okay, yeah. Pretty heavy car. Yeah. Well, Frank, nice, nice talking nice. to you. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Thank you. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Still got time? Yeah, still got time. Sorry, guys, it's just that I, I have distributed the activity, so I still got some minutes. Let's see who else is around here. Uh, Rebecca, hello, Rebecca, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. Don't tell me you are still working home. Working home. No, no, no. I just oh. arrived to my house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that usually at this <laughs> time you are you are arriving. So I'm trying to relax. Okay, well, relax yourself by telling me how was the weekend. What did you do? Separo. Pararse, de pararse. Well. As usual, I went to Metapan mm. to visit my parents. I, I spent the time with them and enjoy also my my time. You know what? Uh, the last weekend, I buy a cake for my mom because it was her birthday. I bought a cake for my mom. Oh, really? How old is she now? Is 53 years old. Oh, she's young. Yeah, she's young. That's she's nice. really That's young. Nice. Yeah, we spent time together eating the cake and talking a lot. <laughs> it was great. Yeah, I can imagine. Would you believe it? Yeah. That I don't. I don't. I don't remember how old my mom is. <laughs> really? Yeah, honest. And I. I mean. I can make up the numbers because my mom is, let's see, two, 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 two. she's around 58, I guess. Okay. She's it's 58, younger. 59. But believe it or not, I got no idea how old my dad is. Okay. And I don't know I the age of my, my, of my parents. And don't ask me when I when is their birthdays. I don't know that thing. Never. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, Are you good uh, at remembering uh, birthdays? Yeah, I remember my parents' my my father birthday, my mom birthday, my brother birthday, also my sister-in-law, my. My Your sister in laws Man, yeah. that's making it complex for me. <laughs> I don't know why, but every year I remember that that birthday. Well, you know, let me see. I don't remember. I never remember my wife's birthday. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, I she's mad, never. She's mad never. you in that, in that case. <laughs> No, the good thing, the only thing that I know that I'm sure is that she, her birthday is the same day as my mother-in-law. Uh, so when okay. I when I see preparation, I get like a little bit sneaky trying to listen when the birthday is gonna be. <laughs> okay, that's, yeah. that's a good strategy. <laughs> yeah, because I, I mean, I'm pretty bad at dates. Always have been. 
I got like, uh, let's see, I'm the oldest of four uh, brothers and sisters. And I just remember the birthday of two of them. My youngest brother, I never remember. Okay. <laughs> That's common in, in men. Um, That's very uh, common. Yeah, yeah, you know, in my case, I was never, never good at it. But it's, I mean, it's not just birthdays. I mean, any day that you ask me about, if it's not written, I don't remember. Like they tell me about, uh, if you right now ask me when's um, Mother's Day, I don't remember. Father's Day, I don't remember. It's like those, I never kind of remember. You need to have that date on, a, on an agenda. I got an agenda. I write them down, but it's just a... I don't know, I, I simply forget. When it comes to that, it's bad. I mean, I'm bad. It took me like four, yeah, like four or five years to remember, to memorize my son's birthday. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, because I was, al I was always confusing the month. Okay, that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, it is. I am that bad with that. Hey, Rebecca, nice talking to you. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, Francisco. Hello, Francisco. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Home or working? Working. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So you got afternoon shift? Yes, teacher, yes. Oh, that's the one you like, right? Uh, sorry, teacher. This is the chief you really like, right? Uh, or do you prefer the night chief, the full night chief? Um, both, teacher. Both. Both are okay. Man, to be honest, Francisco, right now, right now, I will hate to be on your place. Man, there where you work must be hot. Yes, teacher. Uh, two days uh, ago, uh, it was uh, terrible, teacher. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I don't even see I, I can imagine, man, that's crazy. Where you work gets, I mean, it gets hot, completely hot. Uh, yes, but uh, in in the border, uh, the weather is is uh, is so crazy, teacher. Because sometimes uh, during the day it's very hot, but in the night uh, at around, night, sorry, teacher, at night around uh, two or three a.m. Uh, the clima is is is. It's cool. It's a cool. It's very, very crazy. Sometimes. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, my friend, nice talking to you. I'll let you continue working. Your shift is weird. Thank you for being here. Thank you, teacher. Okay, I got time for two more. Let's see who's it. Who is it gonna be? One lady, one guy. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Roxana. Hello, Roxana. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? It's a Monday. I know it's your favorite day in the week. No, I hate Monday. Actually, Why? I think that the weekend, it was very busy because really? I did... What did you do? Yeah, I did a lot of things. Um, Sunday, I was working at, in the morning. And then I, I went with my son to Plaza Mundo and taking the lunch and took the lunch sorry and in the rest of the afternoon we spent time in there so in the night uh, at, at night, night at night uh, i went to the concert basilos concert and i oh, come yeah. back i came around, back i came back around 1 a.m and sunday i took um, I took a uh, brunch with my 
Avianca's co-workers. Oh, really? That's cool. My, yeah, with my um, with my friends of the previous show. Okay. And let me see. Then I went to the supermarket with my best friend and bought a lot of things for the rest of the week of the of the week. And let me see. In the afternoon, I spent time with my son because uh, he had a new bicycle. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, there's and, gonna be a lot of scratches. Yes, uh, and I teach, I teach him. I taught and, him. Uh, sorry? I taught him. I told him. I okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna text it for you. I taught him. Taught. Taught. Oh, Talk. that's nice. Yeah, talk. Mm -hmm. Let me see. You should, you know, you should teach him the way my dad did. He bought me a, a bicycle. He put me on the bicycle seat and he pushed me. Go. I tried it was to do fun. it. But it was fun team. until I fell. When I fell, he used to get me back again and push me again. Yeah. Well, I tried. The thing is that I can drive a, v a bicycle. Ride, I can't. ride. I can't, I can't? Ride. Ride. Yep. Remember when it comes to horses, motorcycles and bicycles, you ride them. Well, actually you also ride a, well, you ride a, a raft. Do you know what is a little raft? No, raft. Like a like a little boat when you go rafting. Because okay. you ride rafts. Rafting, uh -huh, uh -huh. rafting is going on little boats on rivers. Yes. Okay, so in that case you also ride because you ride waves. Okay. So you cannot ride a bicycle? No, I can't. Oh, that would be fun to see you trying. Yeah, just in the gym, but it's totally different. Ah, come different. on, that's stationary. <laughs> stationary doesn't count. Yeah, it's totally different. And let me see, um, at night I took the dinner with my family. And I had dinner, I had dinner. I have dinner with my family and then today it was a very busy day because we have a, um, a, process, a new process. We need to uh, prepare a um, licenciamiento, no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Well, the thing is that- Certification? Uh, yeah, such a certification. So we need to contact to the middlemen and give the information to uh, take a exam in the superintendencia. And in the afternoon, I stayed alone because the because my coworker was working on that. So for me today, it was very busy because I neither I needed to. Um, solve a lot of cases by email and meetings and something like that. So Monday for me was very tight. Okay. Well, it's interesting. Actually, you know, it's good to keep busy. A busy mind yeah. is a good mind. Okay, yes. thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, guys, that was 101. Welcome all of you. Um, I mean, the ones that I couldn't talk to you. I'm so sorry, but I need to jump to the next activity. So welcome, Jose Smin, Jose Marcos. Man, I got three Jose's now. Jose Smin, Jose Marcos, Jose Wilfredo. Cool. Uh, welcome all of you. And we have some activities to perform. You're going to have fun. 
Now we are going to talk about a topic that I know. Some of you love, some of you don't. But it's gonna be interesting. Okay. What are some of the reasons why people get married? I mean, romantic love, arrangement by parents, some countries still do, financial security, nothing else to do, or any other reason, okay? What do you think? What's your opinion, okay? Because actually, you know, nowadays, uh, checking some service, uh, uh, some institutions in the United States uh, took polls in different countries, and there was one country in Asia, an island, where uh, out of 900 couples who were going to get married, 37% were expressing that uh, they were not completely satisfied with their relationship. But they were still going ahead with getting married, which is kind of interesting, right? So right now, your question is this. What are some reasons people get married? Romantic love, arrangement by parents, financial security, nothing else to do, or any other reason you can think of. Okay, guys, I will get you working and discussing. You will have exactly seven minutes because I know it's a very interesting and tricky topic. Please jump into the groups and let's talk about it. Groups are created. Rebecca, let's see what am I gonna send you, Rebecca. Oh, I know where I'm gonna send you, right there. Fernando, if you cannot participate on the speaking, perhaps you can jump into the group and just listen to the discussion. It would be cool. Hey, Nicolas. How are you? You didn't? You teacher. No, teacher. Uh, for the moment, I I, I practice uh, the, ex, the, the test with my okay. students. Okay. Thank you. Never mind. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Keep on. Susana. Oh, okay, Susana. Well, if, if, if it's possible for you, jump into the group and listen. But if not, never mind. Don't worry. Just let me know when you are able to participate, Susana. Cool. Now I'm going to go check on these guys. What are they talking about? A, a family. Mm. A, my small family. Mm -hmm. Was the, the the principal Christian? Ah, okay. For you to teacher, in that case, it will be found a family. Uh, no, fundar the No, start a family. Just start a family. Okay. We can. Ah, okay. Start a family. Ah. Yeah. You know, here in El Salvador, the, the main reason for people getting married is, is pure and sincere love of nine months pregnancy. That's, <laughs> that's a very good reason. Uh, yeah. Mm. Or, have, or having a very angry father-in-law. That's also a very good reason. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I, I know I have some friends that maybe 
I don't know why, but they got married. They thought they were in love, but at the end it was like, um, I, how can you say this word? They were lack of... Uh, there was lack. There was lack of their parents' love, the support of the men... Ay, ¿cómo te explico? Uh, the, the men, la figura paternal, ¿cómo le puedo decir eso? Yeah, uh, the, the father's present. Father's presence, uh -huh. And I know some of them that mm, they took the decision because they had no presence, physical presence yeah. for their fathers. And mm -hmm. they got confused. Uh, the care and caring um, they were they realized one of them she realized that it was a mistake but the other one was able to work first on her personality and stuff like that and at the end she was successful yeah, I mean oof, getting married is it's gambling. It's mm -hmm. gambling sometimes. But I mean, you get better odds yeah, when well, you well. marry for the right reasons. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes. when, when you are when you are pretty focused on, oh, Eliana loves that word. Fuck. Hmm? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> Never mind. <Anna. laughs> Never mind. Okay, when when you're really when you're really really focused on the, on what you want, on what you desire out of the relationship, on your goals, when there's a good base of communication, I mean, so many stuff, so many aspects to take into an account. Mm -hmm. But in the end, in the end, you know, it's love and faith. <laughs> yes. Yes. That, because... I mean, those things. Those things are mandatory. You have to have love and faith because I mean, uh, if you don't have, if it's... you have faith, uh -huh. you you fight for it. Mm -hmm. That's because, right. I, I mean, in nowadays in in today's society to mm -hmm. to make a relationship, and I'm not talking just about marriage. Mm -hmm. any relationship i mean just boyfriend and girlfriend to make that relationship successful you gotta fight for it mm -hmm. every day because i mean uh, there are many distractions the points of view of people we live mm -hmm. in a we live in a fast-paced society Ooh, where yeah, yeah. where interests uh, change like every day constantly and mm -hmm. i mean it's so easy to get distracted or perhaps to to fall into boredom. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I mean, you need to make your best in order to make things work. And it's nice when you see young people like they are making it work. It's mm. cool. Awesome. Well, I hope that they can. Well, make that's it. that's my point of view. No, but that's cool. That's cool. Sometimes you know. Sometimes I think I'm kind of a romantic, but. Uh, I try to get it out of my mind. Hey, teacher. Okay, teacher. <laughs> He's a rock man. He's a, you just don't imagine the background he has. What what he he told us about his background. Oh, I've been around. I've been around a lot. <laughs> I've been around. I mean, but it's fun. Yeah, so Francisco said that he he wanted to start the family. That's cool. I mean, it's nice when when you try to start the family. How old were you when you got married, Francisco? Sorry, How old were you when you got married? Three years. Three years ago. But how how old are you? Uh, I, ha, I am four uh, years old. Thirty four. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, but that's me. a good age. 
Yeah, and that's a whole different story, man. Mm -hmm. I got married when I was 23. My God, you oh, were yeah. a kid. I was a precocious kid. My goodness. Yeah, and it was for the love of a nine month baby. What did you have? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's pure and sincere love. Ah, okay. Pure sincere love of nine month baby, right? <laughs> I love that phrase. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, that's pure and sincere love. Okay, guys, I'll go check another group. Okay. Nice talking Thank to you. you. Thank Bye. you. Uh, so. Oh, guys, wow, this is a very interesting group. Just guys, nice. <laughs> reasons, for getting, reasons for getting married. What do you think, guys? Uh, we think some people get married just to not find themselves lonely in some okay. age. Is, is any one of you married, guys? No. No, no but, no. I, but oh. I have a girlfriend. Cool. I have to go. Maybe, to maybe in, in in the end of these years, I get married. <laughs> you get married? Congratulations. <laughs> well, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's cool. <laughs> How old are you, Henry? Uh, 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 um. Sorry, three years. No, no, no I'm, I'm sorry. 23 years old. 23? Yeah, okay. years old. You're Why are you man. thinking now, nah, man? Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. But well, I don't I, know. Actually, but, but, actually, you know, I got married when I was your age. Why? Sincerely, um, how you experience? How do you feel Since about it? Me? Well, I was young at that time, and I was in love, and I had a son already, so uh, why not? I mean, I, I wanted to get serious and start a family, but man, I, I have, before getting married, I have, you know, full around what, so mm -hmm. I wanted to settle down and get serious about life, and I'm here still. It's been 19 years. So, but before you got you got married, so your son was with you, and you yeah. When we got married, he was like six, seven, eight, uh -huh. nine months old. So basically, so you got two reasons: your son, and also because you fall in love with her. Yeah, yeah, because I was not pushing to marriage. Mm -hmm. I it wasn't. Was your I mean, yeah, it was. It was our decision to get married because I was not pushed. I mean, my father-in-law was like, cool, no problem. I mean, it happened. You don't need to get married. Mm -hmm. But that's a, in, in that's where, a long where, story. Where, where, teacher, where, I'm sorry. Where do you yeah. went to your honeymoon? Oh, my friend. The thing is this. Uh, you know, in my case, it was kind of hard because when my son was born, we were we were going to start our last semester at the university. Okay. So we got married, and at that point, uh, we didn't have no honeymoon at that time because okay. I mean I. I needed to support the family with the, I was a starting working. So my incomes were not that good. So I we made it up years later, like uh, with different stuff. But at the moment it was hard. Our beginning was hard. But oh, wow. we're here. We're here. Yeah, to be honest with you, we don't even have pictures of the wedding. <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, the thing is this, that we lost them. At that time, the cameras, were, they, they used to have roles. We lost them roles. Oh. 
Okay, guys. Sorry, I need to go check another group. Okay. Okay. It will... uh, ramen, a kimchi. You bring what? A kimchi. Oh, my uh, gosh. Just poor Fernando that? listening to you, girls. Man. I think that Fernando is very busy because don't go. Fernando, Fernando is on his way home, Mariana. <laughs> He's still in the bus, I guess. Uh, okay, so let's see. Whom of you is married? Stephanie, you are not married. No. <laughs> no. Rebecca, either. No. <laughs> well, Maria Alejandra is almost. <laughs> no teacher. Uh, come on. We have five kids. <laughs> okay, okay. Why do you why do you think people get married, Stephanie? Uh, we're, we're, we're talking about, well, usually, well, we were talking about, for example, right now, the people don't like to get married. <laughs> the youngest don't oh. want to get married and they only want to live together. Uh, hey, we, we, we don't know how, how can I say, uh, acompañados? Yeah, living together. Uh, uh, living together, uh, okay, okay. But uh, maybe someone can be for love because they get married and the, in the other hand <laughs> we well, Rebecca get visa. Get, <laughs> this idea that they get married for the visa <laughs> okay <laughs> to the oh, other yeah, that, that's a that's a very strong reason okay guys let me go check another group I'll be back <laughs> yet we're not married yet but we have about two years living together. Oh, oh really? Okay. Who's that? Yes. Frank. Yeah. Nice. Me. <laughs> yeah. What about Ramon? Is Ramon married? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. But soon, soon, right, Ramon? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> good luck. Good luck. <laughs> it's on the way. It's on the way. Yeah, you know, <laughs> ugh, to get married. Interesting. <laughs> Would you get married again, Heidi? No, not again. Not again. I'll keep you this one. <laughs> no, actually, I didn't phrase my 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 question correctly. Uh, if you could back, if you could go back on time, would you mm -hmm. get married? <clears throat> Again? For the first time I did, maybe no. Maybe not. Okay. How old were you the first time you got married? 21. Oh, you were a little kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was 23. My wife was 22 when we got yeah. married. Yeah. It's that it's... I was living with my with my stepmother. And I, had these two, yeah, and I had these two terrible little sisters. I wasn't supposed to be named Heidi. They made a mistake with my name. I should have been called Cinderella. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes, sometimes we make decisions out of bad reasons, but, you know, I'm so glad to hear that in the end, things work out well for you. Yeah. Because I mean, if you I, could I tell like- you, I feel happy these days. I really feel happy with my kids. Uh, my husband is, he's so smart. He's so brave and, and I, I really love him. I that's don't regret cool. him. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I mean- Very nice that's guy. Actually, that's actually what matters. I mean, it's not the, the I mean, everything you got around, of course it helps. But in the end, I mean, when you go to sleep, if you look to that person and you feel like safe, calm, secure, that's what matters. That's what really matters. Because, I mean, you got to face every day with a different attitude and life throws many things at you every single day. But... Uh, it's very important that the person is next to you, you feel like support 
And if and you get that, because, things work yeah, out. Yeah, my husband works in San Francisco. And he doesn't come so often. Not like we would like to. But, but he does. It's still, he comes. It's still working. It's still working. That's cool. That's cool. I mean, I mean, if you can make something like that work out for you, you're cool. You are there for the right reasons. As simple as that. Even though it's that's not easy. Why, that's why you have to find the right person because. Yeah, yeah I understand. That. I understand you. I was uh, away from my family for almost five years. Mm -hmm. And my son was a little kid and it was hard. Mm -hmm. It was hard. And, and you know, but in the end, we are still fighting. I mean, that's a, this is an everyday fight. <laughs> well, guys, let's go back to the main room. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see. Everybody's coming back in a few seconds. Okay, guys, before we move on, I'm sorry, but I need to get the attendance. So, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Amarelli Alfaro Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Naftali Mendez Torres. I'm here, teacher. Eliana Giselle Tañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present. Present. Thank you. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. Thank you. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nicolás Satirio Méndez Granados. Present, present teacher. Thank you. Rebecca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present, teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present, teacher. Okay, guys. And let's see. Give me just a second. Okay, let's see. Well, you know, this topic was kind of interesting. I hadn't realized that, that some of the groups I created were made up of just single people. That was kind of interesting, quite interesting. But let's see. Where's, where's my dear Ambar? Hello, Ambar, how are you? Hello, teacher, I'm fine, what about you? 
you know, here, same as usual. Tell me, Amber, why do you think people get married? I think that most of the people get married because they are falling in love, but sometimes uh, the people get married because they have a compromise. For example, when, when, uh, how do you say, I even embarrass? Pregnancy, when there's a pregnancy. When? There's a pregnancy. Wait, there's a pregnancy, and I think it's a compromise very important. But for example, I I know one case. My my cousin, she get married because she was pregnant, and now, well, she she have a lot of years with her husband. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it works. Yes. Okay, interesting. Thank you very much, Amber. Thank you. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now, single people, let's see. Jose Marcos, what do you think? Uh, teacher, uh, I think um, people just not want to find themselves at some age lonely. So they decide to get married with any person who appears in their life, I think. Uh, okay. Perhaps they don't, That's have, interesting. they don't, they don't took the time to find someone in, in early age. So when they are past 30 or 40, just get married with any person who they can find. Okay. Okay, okay look, Jose Marcos, this is another way to say it, the phrase that you say, at an early stage on their lives. Okay, you can say it like that. Welcome. Well, sorry, okay. thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Sure. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else? Who else got an opinion here? Mm -hmm. Ada, what do you think? What are some people, why people get married? I will depend, teacher, on the situation and need and benefits and situation. And, and my thing, I think I general um opinion general is a uh, for love <laughs> okay. uh, depend uh, to the age or the need for me okay interesting the need thank you <laughs> well okay heidi what do you think i agree with that the reason you should get married for is because you're in love Okay, that's the main reason, cool. Now let's see, uh, 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 Jacqueline, what about you? What's your opinion? Oh, yeah, I know Jacqueline. I'm here to <laughs> sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, in my opinion, people should be, <laughs> should, get married because they are in love. But in some cases, it isn't happens. Okay, it doesn't happen. It doesn't now, happen. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Now, a follow-up question about the same topic. Thank you, Jacqueline. Now, guys, so we have stated the reasons why people should get married. Now, let's see, I'm going to talk about people who, first with people who are living with someone or who have lived with someone. Let's see, why do you, what do you think is needed? We are past the stage of getting married. People are married already. So what do you think is needed for a marriage to work, for a relationship to work? What's your opinion? What do you think? Let's talk 
first to, let's see, Frank. What do you think? What is it needed for a relationship to work? Mm, sorry, the, the question is about between each other or working? Yeah, yeah, as a marriage, as a couple. Okay. Uh, I think it's the couples must work on, on trust, on, on happiness and enjoy the, the moments together and to be happy first on your own and then to able to make happy the other person, right? So I think to work that, to make the other person happy. That's interesting. A very interesting yes. concept. Yes, I think that first of all you have to think in yourself. You have to be happy with you, with, uh, with your own, and then you on your own, be, on your own, on your on your own, and then you could be make happy to the other person, right? So maybe That's the true. trust, the happiness, and yeah, that could be important to work. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Interesting. Okay, now we're going to go to the, to let's see another opinion. And where's, 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 where's Ana Claudia? Ana Claudia, tell me, what do you think it is needed for a marriage or a relationship to work? Hey. Oscar. <laughs> no. uh... I don't know. I, I guess I, I imagine that communication is, uh -huh. is basic. I, I'm basing my answer in what we were talking in the in the in the breakout room with Francisco. Never never been married on your case? No, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just lovely the way you say it. No, no, no. <laughs> That's a no no. <laughs> just like no thanks. <laughs> thanks but no yeah, thanks that's right yeah it's like thanks but not thanks okay yeah but on your opinion i mean you got friends you got friends who are married and the same way you got friends who got divorced separated stuff like that okay mm -hmm. so on your experience on what you've seen but ah, okay. what do you think is needed for a relationship to work what do you see on the on your friends on couples of your friends who are still at it uh, I think communication is, is uh, can I say vital? Vital? Yeah, it is. Okay, vital. You know what I've seen? You can seen? also say key. Key is uh, the main key, I think. Yeah. Because what happened is that I saw uh, friends, boys and girls, uh, that they got like jealous. It's like when you get married, the other one is my belonging. So because he is my husband, he must go with me or he must do this, this, and this. And I think every person is an individual person. It, the thing that you get married doesn't mean that you uh, lost your freedom because the more you enjoy uh, having your private time with your friends or something like that, the most you value your time with your family. That is what I think. Oh, I think. So, so you mean that the paperwork I got there is not a compraventa, right? <laughs> is That is the, the, the main issue. And, and I'm sorry, I'm, I know I'm, I'm a woman, but most of that issue is common in women. women. Uh, they think that because he is my husband, uh, he belongs to me and there are jealousies. Uh, Jealous? No. Jealous. Yeah. They became they become jealous, or they think the other must do things because I'm the wife or because I uh, know nah, that those things are not for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, when you get so many years as I do, you end up doing things. No, but that's okay. cool. that is what I think is everybody is an individual, it's a different person. Yeah, you're not a slave, or not, no, you are nobody's slave. I mean, 
Yeah, of course. Of Ask course. your life. If you want to go out, you go out. If you want to enjoy joy. Because we are going to die one day. So if you don't enjoy your life, what else? Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Now let's change. Let's see. Young people, Ileana, what about you? What do you think is it needed for a marriage to work? I share uh, the opinion of Ana Claudia. I think that the I community... share Ana Claudia's opinion. Ana Claudia's opinion. Okay, thank you. Uh, it's communication because if I share my feelings and what is on my mind and how I feel with a uh, with my if I share that that things to my partner those things those things those things to my partner i think that like a team uh, we can find a solution so i shared anna claudia's opinion the communication okay. is the most important perfect thank you welcome now let's see mm. Roxana. hello Susana or Roxana? Roxana, you, my dear, you are the one. No. Okay. Well, I think that. Um, Take a deep breath. <laughs> yeah, there is a lot of um, topic on that because, uh, yeah, the good uh, communication is an uh, important thing. But maybe another uh, situation is when the couple respect personal space or try to understand, be empathic with the other. And I don't know, maybe share uh, or spend time with uh, the boy or, or, or girl uh, such a relationship but when they are when they when they were in in the beginning as they were as they were as they in, were in the beginning yeah. in the beginning yeah i think that is is a good way to try to relationship are working to make it work well. Yeah, and maybe try to understand the language that the other person try to, I don't know how to say. Como, to como express, language. to communicate. Yeah, because maybe your form to give love is not my form to give, to give love. So I think it's important take time and try to understand the language, the, the personal language of your uh, okay, pareja, couple. Yeah, couple, partner, spouse. Yeah, because uh, maybe if, uh, if the girl are very, very sweeties, or maybe the uh, the guys, the boys are too, uh, no sé, fríos, cool, cool, hard, cool. Hard. Yeah, it's complex, try to, uh, I don't know, to, to establish a um, good, uh, no sé, como una sincronización. Yeah, I know what you mean, I know what yeah, you mean. Yeah, complex. Maybe yes. when, for example, when you are uh, with your wife, for example, and you know that she loves uh, pupusas, but she knows that you hate pupusas. Yeah. Yeah, I you still gotta eat them. <laughs> okay. But uh, the thing is that uh, I think that uh, the both, Need yeah, to I mean to, to, to understand or... to stand to understand the other person and to respect the other person's wishes and desires. Yeah, 
I mean, it's it's a very thin balance, the one you gotta have. Interesting. Exactly. Very good. Very interesting for you, view, Roxana. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, now let's see. Heidi, you know, guys, Heidi is getting married next week. Okay? Yeah, Heidi is getting married next week. So, right. Heidi, I want you to invite Ana Claudia to your wedding. Okay, Ana Claudia. I want you to be amazed to Heidi for getting married. And I need you to ask her questions about her wedding, please. I'm sorry, the sound was, was a little, do you want me to ask Heidi? First, why is she getting married? She didn't know, I mean, she's just letting you know that she's getting married in one week. Uh, you, okay, hi Heidi. So, <laughs> Sorry to make this type of question. Okay. Hi, Ana Claudia. <laughs> Got you great news. <laughs> uh, Got you great news, Ana Claudia. Okay. No, you are. Week. You just get married. I know you just get no, married. No, she is getting. She is getting I'm married. Getting. Me? No, she. Heidi is getting married uh -huh, in one that week. That is what I understood. She is getting. <laughs> You're getting married, Heidi. Congratulations for that. Thank you, and, and you cannot miss my wedding. I oh, no, I will come. be there. <laughs> I will be there eating uh, delicious food and also cake. But why did you decide to get married with him? <laughs> because I'm in love. Oh. Just because. <laughs> Just because. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There is no, like, uh, the, the teacher mentioned uh, uh, in love. What? Fall in love, nine month baby, something like that. <laughs> no, 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 no surprises, not that kind of surprises. Ah, okay. Are you sure you want to get married? Yeah, I'm absolutely sure. Oh, that's, that's nice. Uh, ah, what else I can tell? Do you recommend to get married? Yeah, makes you realize and, and makes you. Um, Makes you, uh, how do you say, experimentar? Experience. Experience beautiful feelings, like mother, for example. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just can't imagine. Well, congratulations because you're happy because you get married soon. And of course, I will be there <laughs> in your party. Oh, thank you. Thank Celebrate. you. I'll be very glad to have you here with me. Ah, yes, of okay. course. <laughs> thank you, ladies. Okay. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, guys, we got us here a problem, you know? Uh, Ambar is getting married, but we are, we don't feel like Ambar is like pretty sure. She's like, mm, she's not completely sure of getting married. So let's see, Ileana, you are going to talk to Amber about her wedding. Amber, you here? Hi, Richard. <laughs> I know it is not your topic, your love topic. Okay, let's see, let's see. Well, it's the other way around, Amber, simple. Ileana is getting married. Talk to her, please. <laughs> I, I'm getting married. I'm not a good partner. Well, don't worry, Amber. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll prepare a better topic for you. Let's see, let's see. Who's going to talk to Ileana? Mm -hmm. Ramon. Hello, Ramon. Hi. I'm so sorry, Liana. Nobody wants to talk to you. I Nobody guess wants to go to my party. Yeah, no, it's just that we are going to change. I guess it's internet connections. Some people are yeah. having internet connections today. Let's see. 
Oh, but there is Jose Marcos. Jose Marcos is ready, right? Yeah, right. Uh, I'm ready. Okay, Jose Marcos. But in your case, it's going to be different, okay? Okay. You're thinking about getting married. Ask okay. Ileana for advice, please. She is married. No, she is. She's married. She's been married for 15 years now. Okay, okay. Some advice. Oh, hello. Hey, Ileana. Uh, Ileana, I, um, I'm thinking about getting married with my girl. Um, give me some advice like food, like um, honeymoon, like the dress she wants to buy or the hair style. I don't know. Okay. Uh, well, first of all, congrats that you that you're thinking to get married. It's an awesome experience in my 25 years of marriage. I <laughs> I've been so happy. So, uh, my best advice for you is that uh, you have to be se secure. Secure, yeah. Sure. You have to be sure of your feelings. And you have to be sure of what you want with her, not just, uh, I, I think that you obviously love her, but uh, marriage is more than that. It's not just love. You need more. You need to be patient. You need to be a, a very comp compressed, com una persona comprensiva? Com ¿cómo se understanding. understanding, understanding. Thank you, understanding person. And the most important, you always have to, no, you always, yeah, have to be uh, dispuesto. Willing to. Re willing? Willing. Willing, willing, thank you. Willing to, to hear uh, how she feels. So that's my best advice for you. And I hope that you guys, um, you guys are, are happy. going to be happy. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, now, Welcome. thank you, all of you. I hope you have enjoyed this topic, but we are, I know you have. I have seen a lot of you having fun. I hope all of you have fun. Now we're going to change topic, okay? Well, we were talking about beginnings. Now we are going to talk about endings. But not about this topic, not about marriage. Now, life expectancy. That's a very interesting topic. For some of us who are older, for some of you who are pretty young, that's not a problem right now. You don't think about that. But you know, it's very interesting. Uh, uh, declines in death, in death rates from most major causes, like including heart disease and cancer. And you know, Americans' life expectancy has gone up because right now their life, their life expectancy is about 20, 77 or 78 years old. Something interesting is that women are still living longer than men. But that gap is narrowing. Now, women have a life expectancy in the United States of 80.1 years. 5.3 5 more years than men. So we're talking about that men uh, life expectancy in the United States is around, what, 75 years old. Okay. Uh, in 2002, the, the gap was 5.4 years, okay? In 1997, you know, the difference was bigger. Uh, women were expected to live uh, 7.8 years more than guys, which is interesting, right? Yes, Jose Wilfredo, you had a question? 
No, teacher, just one advice that it depends on your uh, physical condition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's exactly what we are going to talk about. Thank you. Uh, okay. Now, uh, the thing is this. People are living longer nowadays than before. Okay? But, of course, we, our first thought is, oh, this is good. Okay, but let's think about people who are living longer. As people live longer, what difficulties do they face? This is the first question we are going to discuss, okay? I'm going to send you in groups. I need you to please uh, limit your participation about one or two sentences. Why? Because I am gonna be giving you follow-up questions okay the first one is as people live longer what difficulties do they face now uh, i'm going to recreate the group so you're going to be working with somebody else okay just let me fix a little something here okay here we go now groups are created please jump in four minutes tops Well, in my case, I think that uh, one of the difficulties that people live longer may face maybe is uh, maybe with the age. They, yes. They... Sorry? Oh, no. Continue, please. Okay. Maybe they may face more uh, uh, illnesses? Yeah, illnesses. 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 Thank you. And the more age, more illnesses. But it depends, maybe, uh, from the condition, physical condition of the of, of the, the person. person. Yeah. But I think yeah, I personally course. think that that is that is the most that is the most difficult thing. Yeah. That people for, that live longer may face. Yeah, Maybe. for me, for me, I think that uh, the people who live longer maybe who face the loneliness, the loneliness too, and that will be terrible for for the people. I mean, I think, I think for me, in my opinion, I, I. I wouldn't want to uh, to to be alone at a certain age, right? I mean, if I live longer, I <laughs> I scare about loneliness. To be loneliness, I scare about loneliness. Yes. I'm sorry, Amber. I texted you in the Zoom chat. Check it, please. Okay. And what do you think, Amber? I think maybe one difficulty in obtaining uh, employment because for the age and some people is more difficult to obtain 
an employment or another thing. Totally agree with you, Amber. That's that's a very a very big problem. Yes. So we think that 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 we conclude that that the difficulties may be it could be illnesses, loneliness, okay. and employment. Unemployment. 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 Yes. Okay, perfect. Let's go back to the main room. Okay, bye. Almost everybody's back. Okay, now I got you guys to follow up questions and those are the following ones. Still talking about the same topic. Now, what challenges must society face when dealing with a growing elderly population? Who has the primary responsibility to care for senior citizens? What do you think? What's your opinion? Okay. Now, we have, uh, we have talked about the difficulties they face. Now, what about society as a group? Then, who do you think has the primary responsibility to care for senior citizens? Remember that this is also something cultural because in some countries, I mean, you send them to, to a house for them to live together. In some cultures, I mean, people want to live alone. They don't want to live with their kids or grandkids, even if they are pretty old. What do you think? What's your opinion? You're going to be talking, but now another group, okay? You're going to be talking with somebody else. I switch groups. Please jump in again, four minutes. Be concise with your ideas, please. The answer of the first question, but the second one, the second one was about uh, who has the responsibility, and I think uh, it should be the government, like in other countries. Yeah, I think that people work along their life and save money to have a, um, a good, how do you say teacher? Uh, oh, retire. Retirement plan. Retirement, uh -huh, yeah. But in our country, it's not a reality. <laughs> people can't, and older people can't live with a, 
I don't know how do you say pension, teacher? A retirement plan. Retirement plan, thank you. Because uh, it's like uh, less than one hundred dollars. No, sorry, one hundred and fifteen dollars. It's impossible to live without the kind that a uh, quantity of money, especially when they are sick or they live alone and they need and they have um, a lot of necessities Necess needs 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 okay thank you needs the principal responsibility is about the sounds right but maybe the, sounds, the, yeah. the society could I don't know, create a specific uh, fund or institutions. Budget? Yeah, institutions or budget to cover uh, that problem. Because now uh, I think that it's not a problem in the country, but. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello guys, what do you think? Maria Alejandra, tell me, whose responsibility <laughs> is all people? Um, I think the responsibility is only uh, for my or for the persons to your thinking in your future, but the responsibility- Ah yeah, I will tell your mama. <laughs> I don't know, teacher. I think in the uh, all the pe or all the older persons do thinking in your future. I think that when you have a a grandmother or grandfather and you have the opportunity to help, I I stay here. But if you don't have the opportunity to help or like this, uh, it's very difficult. Um, because not all the older person have a house, a property house, or like this, and is uh, and in what about Yeah, uncertain. Uncertain to you stay all the time in the same house or you prepare for okay and your... what about what about uh maria alejandra if if i'm pretty old and i cannot uh, take care of myself no more what do you suggest mm, i think uh the, the gas the chamber <laughs> huh Nothing, continue, please. <laughs> the, I think it's that difficult is when you don't have a old family near to to stay with you in the bad moments uh, or you depend on other people. And maybe I think that the government to need uh, or help this person because I don't know. I, I may... I think that I exist a ONG or ONS to help a different person, but not is the solution for this. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, let's see. Opinions. Hmm. Ada, what challenges must society face when dealing with a growing elderly population? Uh, I think the responsibility is, is the family. It's a special teacher. Uh, sometimes uh, sometimes uh, generals get problem in the family. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now let's see, Henry. Okay. Tell me, what challenges must society face when dealing with a growing elderly population? What do you think? Okay, I think so that we we are some some how do you say equivocados? I'm sorry. Wrong. Okay. We are surrounded because I'm I'm talking from my my own point of view. I don't want to dream selfish, but I think we are all obligated to to prepare our life for future. What are we gonna do today for to avoid a future troubles with own life? I don't know. Maybe people don't work. Maybe people don't don't uh, help to the society and the future. They same are. Uh, I don't know. I are taking help to government, to friends, to family, but but sometimes don't work. I think so. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. No, it's okay. It's your point of view. That's what I wanted to hear, your personal point of view. Liliana, what about you? What do you think? Who has the primary responsibility to care for senior citizens? I think that is the government. Because okay. Uh, we were discussing with the group that the government has the power. They make the most of the rules. And I think that they had the obligation to, to, to maybe at some age, uh, uh, they could, the government could be maybe, I don't know, garantizar, it's like ensuring. Warranting, yeah, warranting. Okay, to give to this to this um, group of the population a good quality of life, because maybe uh, not everybody has the same uh, possibilities. Well, that like Henry uh, mentioned before, because yeah, I I I'm the responsible about myself to to make the best my best effort and ensure my own future, but not all have the same possibility, possibilities and not all have the same um, capabilities, resources. Yeah, also the resources okay. to, to build our future. Perfect, thank you. Okay, guys. Well, let me get uh, the attendance one last time. Okay, let's see. Uh, Ada Susana Casares Mendoza. Present, sir. Amber Ilial Faro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present, teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Nectali Mendez Torres. I'm here, teacher. Liliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present. Uh, Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Soto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. 
Nicolás Atilio, Méndez Granados. Present. Uh, Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present, teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's see. For tomorrow, we are going to talk about the, the homework you have. Do you remember the journey? We're going to do it tomorrow. Uh, tonight, well, I hope you enjoy your class. It was a very interesting one. I hope you have fun and that was the idea of you practicing. I congratulate you. I could hear most of you speaking in English, which is very important. And well, if you got any suggestion, if you didn't like it, if you will perhaps uh, have me prepare a different type of exercises, let me know. I'm open to suggestions all the time. Have a good night. Nice having you here. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. See you tomorrow. Ambar, hello. Hello, teacher. <laughs> How are you? I is warm. Tired. Night. Yeah, it is. Nice. It is a warm night. Okay, Ambar, my dear. Let's see. I got something for you. See, I just sent you a little something. On the WhatsApp, right? Yep. Okay. You have it? Yes, I have. Where is? Okay. Now I will explain to you. To you. Uh, you are doing good. Actually, you are pretty good in listening. But I would like you to, to analyze that. And let me see. I got something else for you. Well, actually, the last levels was difficult for me, teacher. And yeah, I know, I know, I know. But that's why I know that some, but it's been just some topics, the ones that are like kind of difficult for you, right? Sometimes, but <laughs> in some situation is more difficult than other. Okay, now, I just sent you some info that is going to help you to improve in, in one of them. In the second one that I just sent you, uh, you are going to be able to look at info, to look at English in, in real life situations, okay? And not just listen, to watch. That's something that is going to help you to get more acquainted with different concepts and situations. Uh, in this case, what I would like you to do is this. Get uh, like five to 10 minutes daily, watch one video, listen one audio, do a little exercise for you to get, to get like more used to it. I'm sorry, I will switch into Spanish. La idea es que a través de los ejercicios usted se, se habitúe a ver contextos diferentes. Eso le va a ayudar porque 
su dominio del inglés a la hora de hablar es bueno. Usted es capaz de expresar sus ideas. Siento que donde nos está faltando un poquito a veces es en vocabulario. Como que sí tiene la idea, pero como que a veces no, no me encuentra la palabra o la expresión correcta, ¿verdad? Sí, es que a veces, por ejemplo, hay unas preguntas que las siento un poco técnicas y, y ahí me, me trabo, por decirlo así, porque yo quiero expresar mi idea, pero no encuentro las palabras correctas como para formular. These exercises are going to help you exactly on that. Estos ejercicios le van a ayudar muchísimo en eso. I would like you to check them out. Ahora bien, something else. Eh, dentro de una semana, más o menos, me gustaría que por favor eh, me comente cómo va, cómo siente los ejercicios, si le están funcionando o no. Ok. La idea es, la idea es pues que usted avance, que no se me vaya a quedar hoy. Hasta este momento todavía siento que vamos bien, Amber, pero vamos a trabajar para que no sienta los siguientes niveles demasiado duros. Y estos ejercicios le van a ayudar mucho. Y por favor, cualquier duda, escríbame. Estoy acá para ayudarle. Muchas gracias, teacher. Muy amable. No, no. You know, it's a pleasure for me. I mean, uh, I, this is what I do and I love doing it. Uh, to help you guys. And I don't want you to, to get behind. No quiero que se me quede atrás. And I, you, and I don't want you to drop out because you have made a big effort. Tampoco quiero que se nos salga porque he hecho un esfuerzo grande. And the idea is to, to make the best of that effort. Y la idea es obtener lo mejor de ese esfuerzo, pues. Sí. Because, uh, I mean, it's not, it's not one month that you've been here. No es un mes que he estado acá. No, sí, si ya es bastante tiempo. Yeah, of course. So, check it out. Revise. If you think they don't really work for you, si siente que no mucho le funciona, dígame. Yo le mando más información diferente, información que le pueda ayudar. A, a, la idea es buscar cuál es el estilo que mejor le funciona a usted, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Lo voy a revisar y en una semana, pues, yo le digo que... ¿Qué tal me ha ido? Please, please, por favor, sin ninguna pena, cuénteme. La idea mía es ayudarle, ¿ok? Bueno, pues muchas gracias. No, to you for being here. Have a good night, Ambar. Take care. Good night, teacher. Take care.
Okay. So tomorrow. Bye -bye.